Okay, really quickly, how to add a chart. So what you're gonna do, highlight this, the data that you care about, and you are going to go to insert chart. And you'll get something that looks like this. So if you go all the way up to the top here, it's under data on the chart editor, and change it from column chart to scatter. All right, and make sure and since this is your input, this is your, this should be on your horizontal column here, or horizontal, it should be down here. The first one you highlight is gonna be your input, the second one is output. That's the same if you're doing accounting stuff or science or whatever. So uh, then go to customize and go to series because that's what deals with your data. And go down here to trend line. Ah, they will always put a linear in first, so you might want to check. Linear looks pretty good to me on this one, but I always like to check. I go to polynomial, and it, they're using second degree here. Maybe, but I think personally on this one that linear makes a whole lot more sense. And this is good. This is kind of what you want to see. Sometimes they'll go just right under the dots, right over it. It's a trend line, basically. And for label, put use equation. I want you to look at this. I know I said no math stuff, but in your mind, I want you to substitute this X for whatever your input is. So I guess it'd be mass at this point, but this is the MX plus B kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this is a linear equation. You see, you don't see a second, yeah, second power thing. Just as an example, let me show you. If you did have polynomial, see how that would be squared up there, but I think linear looks better. So that's how you put a chart in.